Hi, I'm Emma Coakley, and for my master's project in computer science, I designed a system to test for avatar control in a 3D environment through the use of a neural headset. The desired outcome of this project was that a user would not only be able to interact within the virtual environment through the headset, but would be able to do so more efficiently than they would if they were to use a keyboard. While this worked to an extent, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate what the system looked like how it was built, and demo some of the neural control. There are two components of this project, the neural headset and the virtual environment. For the headset, we chose the OCZ Technology Group's Neural Impulse Actuator device, or NIA for short. The NIA has three saline sensor nodes, each of which pick up the bioelectrical signals being sent across the user's scalp. These signals are then interpreted into both alpha and beta waves. In addition, the NIA can also monitor a user's optical movement as well as muscle tension both of which were used in the project. As for the environment, we used the software developed for the virtual theater project. This luster-based 3D world, originally designed for use with motion capture technology, was edited and modified to allow for graphical events in the world to be triggered based upon neural signals being sent from the NIA headset. For example, if the user was to concentrate or focus intently on a movable object, the user's alpha waves would spike with activity. The software would pick up on these spikes and activate any events which had alpha spikes as a requirement for triggering. For this project, we mapped alpha waves to a telekinetic interaction with a ball, toggled only by the caps lock key. So when the user focuses, the ball will be pulled towards the target. If caps lock is hit, the user can then perform the same action in the other direction, effectively pushing the ball away from themselves. Another event, levitation, occurs whenever beta waves are spiking. Beta waves are often related to meditation so when the user relaxes, their avatar is able to hover off of the ground. The last trigger we used was for tension, which when spiking would set a ball on fire. Several other triggers were designed for background use. The light particles seen when some triggers are being activated are from the aura command. Depending upon which wave is dominant at the time, specifically colored orbs will burst from the avatar's body. Yellow for alpha, blue for beta, and red for tension. We then built a proof-of-concept game using both the virtual environment and the neural triggers. In the game, the user must quickly combine multiple events together in order to complete a specific task. The goal of the game was to summon and shoot a flaming ball onto the top of the stage. This was accomplished by first summoning the ball by concentrating, levitating into the air by relaxing, pulling the orb upwards towards the user by concentrating again, pushing the orb in the direction of the stage by toggling caps lock and concentrating, and then setting the orb on fire by tensing. This will cause the stage to erupt into flames and the game to end. So here is the demo of the system. The only things I'm allowed to control by the keyboard and mouse are navigation. I can control the camera using the right mouse key, looking up, down, left, and right. I can control movement of the avatar using the W, A, S, and D keys, bringing myself forward, backwards, left, and right. The only other button active is caps lock and we use that for toggling between pushing and pulling when we're using the telekinesis command. So here's a live run of the demo. We load up the virtual world, start by relaxing, levitating myself off the ground. I then concentrate, allowing my alpha waves to spike and bringing the ball towards me. I then reposition myself, relax once more to levitate off the ground, toggle caps lock to turn pulling into pushing, push the orb towards the stage, and tense up, turning it on fire. I gotta be up off the ground to levitate, and set the stage on fire. And bingo, game over. And that's my project, the use of a neural impulse actuator in order to control an avatar in 3D virtual environment. If you're interested in this work or have any questions, feel free to email me at eoliverkoakley at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.